I am a fan of ruler work on the Husqvarna Viking Designer Epic 3, and I do like to free motion quilt my own quilts on a sewing machine or a sit down quilting machine. So I am not a long arm quilter, but because I can do so much on these machines, I want to show you what kind of the latest craze is, is ruler work and really just how you set it up for this particular machine. I have used ruler work in some of the Stitching Cosmos quilts that I quilt. For example, these blocks are some of my absolute favorite ones. It gives my free motion quilting a professional look, but without using a walking foot. So if you have this desire to have more precise free motion ability, ruler work could be where you want to start. So ruler work is designed with a specific foot that is purchased at your local Husqvarna Viking store. And when you put the foot on, we are going to go into free motion quilting and actually tell the machine which free motion quilting foot we're using. So you've got the spring foot, the floating foot. The floating foot actually comes with this machine, but there is now a ruler foot option. Now, whenever you touch one of those particular options, you will hear the, the feed dogs go down. And so that's already taken care of for you. You see the ruler foot is now pictured on screen. And I highly recommend that you find and locate your straight stitch throat plate and put it on as well. So that it doesn't tell you to do that, but because it comes with the machine, let's put it on. That's gonna really help as you start moving your fabric in all those different directions. The one thing people always ask me is what needle and thread I do use. I am a fan of top stitch needles, usually a size 90, 14 is where I start. And I am also a fan of Isocord embroidery thread. So yes, I actually quilt most of my quilts with embroidery thread, so I love, love the way it works. Now, the last thing that we need to adjust is how the ruler foot is set for height above your fabric. Now, I don't have a... So because we all use different types of batting, there's times where you might need to raise the height of the ruler foot to not come all the way smashing down on your thicker battings, for example. So you kind of want to make sure that it is still, the fabric still moving underneath your foot, but yet it is not being restricted by the foot at all. So just kind of there's that happy medium and you will probably need to adjust the height, but you can always just start with the default setting and then adjust it from there. So there's just, and there's tons and tons of craftsy classes that are geared to teaching ruler work. So Steady has some options. So Steady University has some options for mastering ruler work. But because your machine is pretty much all set up, all you have to do is attach the foot and tell it you're using the ruler foot, you are set to go. So those are the basics. And from there, it's all practice, practice, practice.